hi guys and welcome back to my channel and i am bringing you a massive primark haul let me tell you what happened so the primark in chesterfield which we're close to sorry about all this because this is what i'm showing you um the primark in chesterfield is a small ish primark you can get quite a lot there but the beauty range and stuff just isn't there and Meadow Hall isn't too far away so of course you would go there if you really want something however I was um, called by my mum they've just had a massive massive Primark put in at um, what's it called Foss Park if you know Leicester it's just off the M1 on Junction 21 if you've never been just go it's really awesome um, it's free parking which is fabulous anyway this is not an advert it's just me telling you what it is They've opened up a new Primark. It is ginormous. It's the biggest Primark I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I'm so happy that it's there. Um, we've been waiting for something to happen. We did have quite a big Primark, but this one, and that was in the city centre, but this one at Foss Park is just brilliant because it's open till late at the same time as the rest of Foss Park and it's free parking. Couldn't go wrong. Anyway, um, this is mainly beauty. There is maybe five items that aren't, so I want to show you those first. And then I'm gonna go into the beauty, but I have used them, and I want to tell you about the order that I use them, what I think of them. Um, so there's a little bit more detail behind it. So if you wanted to purchase anything, then I would definitely um, let you know. Now, I have used them the first time today, so I'm hoping you can see things on my face at the moment, and we'll get into the rest of it. So the first things that are non-beauty, I'll start with the boring thing. It was this king size fitted sheet in gray, and this is, oh, it's covered in dog hair now, great. Um, this was £6.80. We've got a double bed, but our mattress is quite dead, like thick. So when we put on a double sheet, it just doesn't fit. The other thing, which was uber cute, is this. And it is the Flamingo, it's just basically a, a jewellery holder from the home department, which I wasn't that impressed with actually, even though it's massive, it wasn't a big home department. Um, and then you are fabulous like a flamingo. That's what that says. Get it up close for you. So cute. Definitely, definitely love that. The other three last bits that are not beauty were um, this phone holder for two pounds to hang in the car, which I think was quite cool. I love anything little like that. And then two, oh, I suppose they are beauty related, um, of these lipstick holders and they were £1.50 each so that was a real bargain I love that I love a good bargain as you all know whoops try and make some more noise Leah so 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 <laughs> that reminds me of somebody uh, anyway let's start with beauty I picked up some face wipes I actually bought them not for my face these are a pound for 50, you get two packs of 25 basically. And I wanted some to take off swatches and I think these are really good. They smell of cowpole um, and they are argan facial cleansing wipes. They're for dry skin. I think I prefer these to take off things from my hands. My hands get really dry during the winter. So I picked up some of those. I also picked up a perfume. Um, this is the PS Love Gold. This is stunning. It's so good. It's not even an eau de parfum, and they do have loads of those. But this is an eau de toilette, which I would never normally wear. Um, but my mum put it on, and we were walking around. I was like, Mum, that smells so, so good. And so it says it's um, surround yourself with this delicate floral scent, sweet apricot on a bed of peony and vanilla. Anything with peony, I'm happy. When you put this on, yes, when you put this on, which I've just sprayed it a minute ago, um, you get that apricot first. The first thing that hits you is that apricot smell. But then you get the peony and that lingers. That peony smell and I just love it. I love it. I bought it for me and Claire. We both have one because they were only £3.50 and I thought, why not? So, the beauty part of it was just huge. I just couldn't believe how much there was. So, I am really impressed with a lot of things but I... There were a few things that I'd seen and I really wanted and I couldn't get here. And, you know, it's just one of those things. You, I got overwhelmed with everything, but I, I just was so happy. So um, there was a skincare part and I'd heard about this product here, which is the PS Glow face mask. And apparently it's like the Glam Glow 
face mask. I don't know. I don't have that, so I really don't know how to compare it, but I'm going to give it a go. I will look and see if there's any reviews, but I'm going to give this a go and let you know. And that was three pounds. Um, but the other thing I saw while I was there, I thought PS Love to Glow Instant Radiant Serum with Vitamin E. I love a good serum, um, and I thought I'd give this one a try, and it was £2.50, so I, again, a lot of it you're just like, well, why not? It's not very much. It does all add up in the end. So 30ml squeezy tube with a sort of thin nozzle, and it has a slight radiance to it, not a glow, not a glitter, something slightly radiant. And it, what it says is you can mix it in with your moisturiser or with your foundation, which I think is a really good idea. Um, but, um, uh, or to use it just primarily after you've moisturised, just use it on your cheekbones and on your brow bone. And it's meant to sort of give you that little bit of glow. I haven't tried it on the, the cheekbone. I actually put it in with my moisturiser. So I gave that a go. And, I actually thought it felt quite nice. It's quite liquidy, so just be careful when you squeeze it out, a lot comes out. You don't need a lot either. So just to bear that in mind. And then I was walking around and I saw some stuff and I wanted to get a base. And in the PS Pro line, there was a matte foundation. I don't like matte foundations particularly. They I've got dryish skin. Most of my skin is dry, apart from on my nose because of my glasses. My glasses force oil out, which is so annoying. Um, so I tend to just go for dewy finish foundations. However, um, I did spot another foundation and it says it's a medium coverage, semi-matte finish, oil-free formula. So semi-matte, I thought I could probably deal with that. And for £2.50, I'd give it a go. They have a load of colours, which I, I was really impressed with that, actually. They must have had about eight colours, which for a budget budget line that isn't a beauty known line i was quite impressed this liquid foundation i got in ivory i think it's a great match for me actually i have um i've got bronzer around there um but i feel like it is a really good match for me and it's it says it's medium coverage but i would definitely say it's light to medium i think you could probably layer that up but the other thing I picked up was this. I wanted to find a primer and they had a mattifying primer, a luminous one. They even had a strobe cream, which was really nice, but I didn't get it in the end. Um, but I picked up the BB cream in ivory. They've got two colours in this, but ivory is the light one. And basically, I think you've got like an, a light and a medium to dark, maybe. Um, but this was £2.50. Um, I tried it. I thought, I wonder if it would be good as a base or just a, a very light, light foundation for when you don't want to wear any admittedly i would say although there's color in it when you rub it in it just disappears however it does have glycerin in it so i thought i would pop it on the skin prior to this these together are really really good so far um you may see them in a favorites video i'll be doing a um quarterly favorites sort of or current favorites who knows but um yeah i really like the way it feels my skin feels so good those two together have worked really well. Then I picked up a contour kit. And this is the PS Contour. It's three pencils. You've got a bronze, a shade and a highlight. And you also get at the bottom, which you don't see until you open it, uh, a sharpener for the three, which I thought was really, really clever. And I got, um, they're quite dark. I would say that this shade colour, you could use on deeper skin tones, definitely. They are blendable. The deeper one is harder to blend, um, but they all seem quite blendable. This lovely um, bronze colour, they're really nice. They're really creamy. I'll just give you a swatch of them all together so you can see. Um, this highlight colour is a little bit too yellow for me, but it wasn't too bad. Oh no, I've just gone and ruined it. They're that creamy that they're... Yeah, just be careful is a tip there. Um, oh gosh, it's everywhere now. So that is the shade colour. Look, it's almost black. Uh, that is the bronze colour and that is the highlight. I did use them all and I actually am quite pleasantly surprised. Um, they blend quite nicely. Like I say, the shade colour doesn't blend as easily, but just put a little bit of work in and you'll get there. I really like the bronze colour. Even though it is slightly warm, it did work as a highlight there. Um, really nice. I really like these. I've used them today and I think they work a treat. So if you're new to cream, I would try these. They were really precise. I like that. Um, yeah, definitely something I would try if you're a newbie. 
then um, God, we're coming up 10 minutes already. I need to get through these as quick as I can. Uh, and then I finished it off. I'm looking for all the bits. Oh, yes. What I haven't mentioned was I picked up two new sponges. I got this one, which looks like two little balls with a flat edge on the top. I haven't used this one. Of course, two pounds that was. And then I also bought these. They're non-latex ones. Look for non-latex when you're looking at their sponges. Trust me, it will be better. I picked up those mini ones and they were non-latex. This is the, I mean, I've used it now. It's filthy, but it's the. It's a blue colour. It's got a flat edge. It's basically a dupe for the uh, Real Technique sponge. It is soft, it isn't as soft as the Real Techniques and it's definitely not as soft as Beauty Blender, but it feels soft on the face. So when you're bouncing it off, it doesn't feel like a bullet. The other ones just didn't even expand in water. This was a lot smaller and it has expanded. I thought it gave a really good finish. I do think it's worth it for two pounds. I think you can't go wrong. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, the finishing powder was the next thing. It's, I don't need to get it out. This is from the PS Pro line. Um, this is apparently 01 translucent. I have to say, if you're deep skin tone, it is going to give you a white cast. It did do that, do that to me, and um, it's it's basically like all those other, like the NYX HD powder, the all of those. It's just exactly the same thing. And this was five pounds, so this was actually quite expensive. So it's no cheaper, no better. I don't know. Um, it didn't impress me loads, but I have got it on, and it has smoothed out my face, so it's all right. It's all right. I, I don't want to rave about it because it, it isn't fantastic. So I'm not too bothered. Um, and then this I will rave about. This is £1.50. This is a blush in Kahlua, which is a drink, isn't it? And this is a lovely, really deep, dusty rose colour. I've got it on today. I'm just going to give quite a heavy swatch on my hand. It's not overly pigmented. It's buildable. It's blendable. It's so pretty. And I have it on today. It's perfect for the autumn. I just think this is a great blush. It really reminds me of the MAC packaging, but I would recommend this. I think it's really, really good blush, really good. Definitely one that I would recommend. And the other thing that I think is the star of this show has got to be this. This is the PS Strobing Kit, highlighting kit. It's got three highlighters in. One is called, let me get the colors up here. Oh, it's on the back. Um, glowing Light, Radiant Light, Luminous Light. They do what they say on the tin. Um, this glowing light is just has the most hint of glow in it. You really can't see it though. It, but it isn't a. It's definitely got glow there. Um, so like when I can see it reflecting, but it's not. You can't see it really on the skin. But it's really nice if you want a very subtle glow on the face. This one here, which is radiant light, is a sort of peachy glow. It does have a glow. I don't know whether you can see it just here. But again, it's not mega, mega bright. And then the next one is this one, which is Luminous blur Glow. And that, I mean, is exactly what it is. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom there. It's almost like a, a light, light pink. Mixing these two together is what I did today to get this glow. I don't know whether you can see that there. I'm trying to get it in the light. <laughs> um, I like it. I think it's really subtle, but I think it's really, really nice. And I love the packaging. I'm annoyed that the packaging isn't consistent overall. I feel like it hasn't been consistent. You know, it's either gold or black or rose gold or what, but I do like the rose gold one. I just wish that it was this, either the same across the board or I don't know. I just like things to be consistent. Um, I then used powdered. Ah, oh, yes, powder. I've all done the powdered and I've powdered. Um, the primer water. They have a primer water for two pounds. It reminds me of the Smashbox one. Um, I've not checked the ingredients, but I do know this is not the same as the Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I would like to check the ingredients. So um, I haven't, and I'll do a review on this. I used it today just to put on top of my powder. I haven't used it as a priming water, but I will let you know. I will let you know about that one. I'll do a bit of a review on that one if you like. Um, Oh gosh, I feel like I'm all over the place, but it's so hard because there's so much. Uh, next up is this. This is the eyeshadow crayon. I just broke it and I'm really annoyed. Yeah, I just broke it. Um, it's called Golden Rust. I have it on my eyes today and it literally doesn't come off. I put a swatch on my hand earlier and it just won't come off. It is, I've cleaned it and everything. It's great. This is really good. 
I would highly recommend this pencil, apart from the fact it just broke on me, but I mean, nothing a sharpener won't help with. I think it's really good, but they only had two colours. Didn't like any of their sharp eyeshadows anyway. I really didn't. I thought the shadows, powder shadows, were pants. So just a little tip there. Um, I bought two eyeliners. I got the dip liquid eyeliner, which I absolutely love this. So I got that as a spare um, and it was only a pound. And then for pound fifty today, I used the felt tip eyeliner pen in black. Um, it's very black. I like it. I think it's actually pretty darn good for £1.50. I've got it on today. Yeah, I th I'm quite impressed with this, I have to say. Um, is it the best pen in the world? I don't know yet. I've used it once. I want to see if it will run out. Is it black? Yeah, pretty black. And it does the job. So if you're looking for a good one, try this one. And the mascara I used was this. This is the High Definition Mascara Ultra Volume and Lift. It was £3. It's from their Pro line, which is, seems to be silver and black for some reason. And it has one of these very thin ones this is basically the same in every way i think as the l'oreal telescopic mascara the magnetic one that's in the same color it's silver again um i've got it on my eyelashes today and i just feel like it lengthened them i think it it's kept kept well i say kept the curl they're curly so of course it's kept the curl but it it has added volume i do think this is a very very good mascara for three pounds i am very very impressed i think you're getting the gist here that i really really like this stuff um the eyebrow gel i love this it's a pound and it's got the teeniest brush it's not like a small brush um like the benefit one which i haven't tried but it is small enough it's quite good some of them are just so big and this was one pound yeah it's a small vial but who actually gets through them i've put it on today and my eyebrows aren't like mega crispy or anything i think this is actually a really good buy if you want they did have coloured ones as well. They had a light brown, a medium brown and a dark brown, I believe. I was afraid they'd be too warm and um, my eyebrows are thick anyway. So I just thought I needed a clear one. So you could always use a powder and then use that gel and you'll be set. Um, is that everything for the eyes? Yes. So the final thing I used today was actually one of these two liquid lipsticks. And I used the metallic one today. And it's already sort of crumbling off um it i'm not disappointed because i don't think they were very much i'll tell you how much they were ps metal matte uh sorry uh matte lip at uh, two pounds two pounds each so one of them was a super matte and the other was a metal matte and the metal matte is what i've got on now they're both very similar colors actually but the metal matte is this one um I'll give you a little swatch here. It's like a berry with a gold um, metal in it. And as soon as I put it on, it dried down straight away. I didn't have to wait at all. Uh, it's super drying. Um, I don't even know what it looks like now. So I feel a bit like I want to have a look because I haven't seen it since I put on. put it on. It feels so dry. My lips feel like, mm, I feel like Candice <laughs> off. Bake. Bake off. Yeah, it's coming off. I've done this whole video with my lips like this. It's quite gross, actually. Yeah, that's just not very good, I have to say. Mm. Yeah, I don't really like that. So that's probably not going to stay around. Um, and then this lip colour here is, it's really pretty, actually. It's, like, again, a deep colour. I don't know why I just kept going for deep colours. Maybe it's the autumn. It's, like, a nice deep berry colour. Um, that takes a bit longer to dry from the skin swatch. I've not tried it on my lips yet. So, um, yeah, I don't know yet. I want to give them a go. They had some really nice colours, but I just didn't want to get anything as a duplicate. I was really concerned about that. I wanted to make sure I got different things. Um, we're coming to the end. So, uh, in the PS Pro line, there was something that I thought was really, really cool. This is PS Pro Eyeliner Correct Pen. So, this is basically a pen that has a flat edge and a, uh, a rounded edge so it's almost got like a point it looks like it's going to come out black i'm just going to do it on here so basically oh my god it's so good it's got fluid in it and you can take off your eyeliner oh my god you can make your eyeliner so sharp that is so incredible this is ingenious <clears throat> i needed this the other day it's ingenious i love that that is so cool 
Um, and they also had in the PS Pro line, this is the Miracle Pencil, contour lips, brightens eyes, conceals. So it's basically a, um, a, a nude eyeliner, but also it can be used to, you know, help the lips be uh, defined and even the uh, sort of under the brow bone. I think this is a really cute pencil. I don't believe it cost very much, but I can't remember. I'll have a quick look, sorry. PS Pro Miracle Pencil, two pounds. Oh, is that what it was? Wow. Uh, I bought another eye, uh, lip liner, um, and this one I didn't see before. This is in Desert Sand, and it's like a, a nudie mauvey color. Uh, no, like a nudie peachy color. They're really soft. I really like that one. Part of me is thinking I might have this. I don't know. I think it's really cute. I don't think I do. I really like that one. And then three lipsticks. We're coming to the end, guys. I'm so sorry. I've got... Oh, my God. I did have five. Oops. Okay. Three lipsticks. I got um, Boudoir Pink, which is 03. These are from the PS Pro line again. So you click the bottom. It pops out and then you have a lipstick they are plastic i'm not going to lie and say it feels heavy it doesn't and um, they're trying to be you know fancy um, and again it's in this silver color um which i actually don't think I'm, I'm i enjoy it at all and where can i put this swatch let me just wipe this stuff off and then i can give you a proper swatch um because we're coming up to the end and it's over 20 minute video and i hate it when it's too long so my apologies Let's try and get some of this stuff off. Oh, lovely. <laughs> One of them isn't coming off. Great. <laughs> I can't believe I've done this video with this lipstick uh, the way it is, but I guess it's um, showing you what it does. Anyway, so this is in Boudoir Pink and it's like a dusty mauvey pink. Just wipe that down a bit oh it's nice it's really pretty actually there you go that's really nice i thought it'd be less nice than that it's nice so that's boudoir pink um apparently they've got vitamin e in which is quite cool and this one is hollywood red so you're expecting it to basically be a bright red i quite like the top of them they've got a nice oh yeah that's nice the blue toned red that's pretty and then we have midnight crimson so it is basically that's what it looks like it looks very dark but i believe that i picked it up because yeah it's like a purpley color which i think is really nice for the autumn so i'm impressed by those actually um do i like the packaging not sure i do I don't know if they're always going to work. That's my issue with this sort of packaging. Who knows? But yeah, I'm just going to pop those in my little lipstick stands. Um, and then finally, I picked up five little polishes. They're 60 pence each. I think they are awesome. I think they're great colours. So the first one I picked up was this one in the colour Mink. I think that's going to be really nice. It's so dinky, 60p. I, love the, I like to change my nail colour up a lot. So I like things like that. Um, I got Rose, which is this really nice dusty pink. I thought that would be quite nice. Again, it's like a muted colour. I got this one in the colour Sage. I like how they actually represent the colours. Do you know what? Looking at this, it's got some shimmer in there. Oh. It has got a bit of shimmer. I wonder if you guys can see that. That is really cool. And I picked up colour are you fawn that is the colour again it's I think it's got a lovely mauvey tone to that I think that's really nice and that's gonna look nice on the nails and then the final little one was tangerine look at that orange that is so perfect I can't wait to put this one on I don't have a colour like this at all I don't believe let's get this open let's just see if it's opaque oh yeah oh yeah i can't wait to try it now some of these were quick drying oh all are they all quick drying let me just have a look that's what you want isn't it quick dry quick dry yep they're all quick quick dry so 
that is impressive so that was my primark haul was that everything yeah that was everything Phew, that took a long time thank you so so much for watching if you've got any questions let me know i need to get this lip oh i've missed something off sorry Just some tweezers rose gold the end um but i need to get this off my lips do you know what i've missed something else i'm so sorry face mask i also got a face mask there you go you don't need to <laughs> they're not that exciting but um i can't wait to get this off my lips it's really driving me insane and i want to try something else so i will do thank you so much for watching let me know what you've recently got in primark and what you enjoy and ask me if you want me to review anything i really want to review more i haven't done for a long time and i want to try and do as much as possible in the future thank you so much for watching as i've already said um subscribe if you haven't already obviously that helps me so much i love it when people subscribe it means that it's free for you for starters but it also you get to see when i've updated videos um as and when they come in and i will see you all in my next one bye guys